Hollywood. Today I'm going to be discussing women of that atmosphere. Are you aware that women are still not equal to men in all societies? Unlike the United States, the women of Afghanistan do not have the same rights as women in our country. Although women have the opportunity to share the same rights as men for many years, the men of Afghanistan deprive their women from experiencing the same freedoms that they were able to experience. The main focus that I'm focusing on is even though women may be considered the weaker sex in Afghanistan, women deserve to be equal to all men in all societies. I recently read the book, A Thousand Splendid Sons, and this topic was evident throughout this whole novel. The main character, Lila, um, was able to witness the cycle of women's rights in Afghanistan. From the start, she was able to receive an education. However, towards the end, she lived a very abusive lifestyle and did not have any of the same rights. She was no longer to receive an education, have a job, or leave the home without being accompanied by a man. Miriam was very abused. She was not, <laughs> she was very abused by her father at the beginning and lived an abusive life, married to her husband towards the end. Women in Afghanistan deserve the opportunity to be able to take part in society and receive an education. Lamb's article provided the statistics that even though women are not currently allowed to receive an education in Afghanistan, women should be able to be equal to men. Women are slightly gaining more voice in Afghanistan, however, but according to statistics of the 8 million Afghanistan children, approximately 120,000 of those students are female. The constitution that was proposed stated that women was originally supposed to make up 25% of parliament. However, this is no longer true. Although men may be intimidated by allowing women to take part in society, there's many benefits that can come about. According to other studies from the article on model case for education, educating women allows for a decrease of Afghanistan's population growth, fertility rate, and infant and child mortality. Personally, women in Afghanistan are often forced to marry certain people. They know. In this story, Lila was a young girl and she was forced to marry a guy that was about 40 years older than her. Women are also forced to wear burqas and are not allowed to go out in society without being accompanied by me. However, in my opinion, they should be able to do whatever they want. Christina Lamb interviewed a woman in her article and she stated that she twice was beaten, once for using once for showing an ankle, another time for taking off her burqa before she entered her house, unaware anyone was watching. Women should, women should never have to experience this type of punishment. The attire that an individual wears should be based on personal preference. Although women have obtained more rights in, after the United States invasion of Afghanistan, there is still much further improvement that women should possess. Not only do women need to be able to receive an education, but deserve a voice in society. Women do not deserve to be treated poorly by men just because they are powerless stranger in their country. <laughs> Furthermore, women should be able to make their own decisions. They should be able to be expressive with their clothing, practice the religion that they want, and they deserve to be equal in all societies, including that. In conclusion, the main problem that I've focused on is women's lacks of rights in Afghanistan. Solutions that we could do is to enforce the new constitution that came about after the United States invasion. We can allow women to receive an education and have higher positions in society. And we can persuade men that women and men should be equal to all in, in their country just like they are in other countries around the world. Here's a list of the sites that I use to help write my speech.